the World Health Organization was founded in 1948 on the conviction that health is a human right to be enjoyed by all people, not a privilege for the few. Seventy years later, that conviction is as strong as ever. Nobody should get sick and die just because they are poor or because the services they need are too far away. Universal health coverage is more than just health insurance. Universal health coverage is more than just health care. It means ensuring people can get quality health services where and when they need them without suffering financial hardship. Today, more than half of the world's population lacks access to essential health services, and almost 100 million people are pushed into extreme poverty every year because of the costs of paying for care out of their own pockets. This outrage must end. UHC is not a luxury that only rich countries can afford. From Botswana to Brazil, India to Iran, Kenya to Kyrgyzstan, and Sri Lanka to the Solomon Islands, evidence and experience show that all countries at all income levels can make progress with the resources they have. They also show us that there is no single path to UHC. All countries must find their own way in the context of their own social, political, and economic circumstances. UHC doesn't only improve health. It reduces poverty, creates jobs, spires inclusive economic growth, and increases gender equality. Strong health systems, based on the foundation of primary care, are also the best defense against outbreaks and other health emergencies. UHC and health security are truly two sides of the same coin. Now is the time for all countries to invest in universal health coverage. Now is the time for all countries to invest in a healthier, safer, fairer future. On behalf of everyone at WHO, I wish you a very happy and healthy World Health Day. I thank you.